Muy buenos días a todos. I will speak in Spanish. I'm so sorry, but I feel more comfortable in Spanish. Me llamo Sandra Besudo, soy la alta consejera presidencial eh, de presidente Juan Manuel Santos, presidente de Colombia y ministra designada de Medio Ambiente. Quiero antes eh, pasarles rápidamente unas fotos que algunas, muchas, algunas de ellas he tomado en Colombia para mostrarles la gran no de... biodiversidad. I just want to show you some pictures to show you the biodiversity of our country. These are the indigenous people of Santa Marta mountain range. These pictures have been taken in their natural environment. There's no fish tanks here or nothing artificial. Colombia is a country with 46 million inhabitants with an area of 1.4 million square kilometers and the exclusive maritime use of uh, 0.21 million square, um, close to 1 million square, uh, 1 million, million uh, square kilometers. And its GDP uh, was just about fourth 130 billion, one of the 30th uh, the f with top 30 economies in the world and the fourth in Latin America. Uh, Manuel Santo Calderón, the president, has the purpose of moving the country through their democratic prosperity policy where we want to create more employment to carry on with uh, safe, safety and security and to uh, reduce poverty. Unfortunately, we have the most unequal country in the planet uh, and the president therefore wants at all costs to increase employment and reduce poverty. For this he has decided that this uh, economic growth we have to uh, bring it with what he calls the development locomotives which are infrastructure, housing, mining, energy, innovation and agriculture, but obviously all these industries, which generally we could say that they are not compatible with the environment, more often than not, he has very clear the fact that the environment is transversal to all economy sectors, and therefore this, great, this uh, office, my office, in order to carry out a coordination work among the various ministries, we are setting out a program for that so that we can actually articulate a coordination among the various sectors and not work separately in this. Colombia is one of the, the most biodiverse countries in the world per square kilometer. We have 69 indigenous ethnic groups with their own languages. Many groups, they think that we have about between four, five and seven groups in the Amazon which have not even yet been contacted at all, which is quite surprising. In fact, it, 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 it sends our imagination flying. We have Afro uh, communities, and mestizo communities, and given the fauna, we're one of the top three countries in levels of biodiversity in birds, we're the first. And amphibians and orchids, we are the fourth 
place in diversity of mammals, and second in freshwater fish and plants. We have five geographical areas. We're not only um, an Amazon country, we're also an Andean country, a Caribbean country, and the Pacific Basin country, and the Orinoco River Basin country as well. And to, together with this, we also have a great amount of uh, energetic and uh, natural resources. And we also have a, a great availability of uh, uh, fresh water, more than 40,000 cubic meters per head, albeit not equally distributed. According to the uh, uh, ecosystem of the Colombian country, the Colombian territory has 311 ecosystems, of which 167 are transformed, which are the ones we see especially in, around the middle of the country going up, and 144 are still natural. Colombia is the only country in South America that has coast both to the Caribbean and to the Pacific Ocean. Half of the ter territory of the country is covered, therefore, by natural ecosystems that represent the Amazon and the uh, Orinoco River area. The biggest coverage of primary forests are in the, Am in the Amazon, in the lower part, the area of Choco, the biogeographic Choco, which is where the most important forests are, and the Colombian Amazon is one of the best preserved of the eight countries that have uh, that form part of the Amazon basin. Among the main ecosystems we have forests, we have mangroves, savannas, and we have islands. And obviously we have as well a great challenge to be able to maintain these ecosystems. One of the important ecosystems that provide uh, ecosystem services for the Colombians are indeed the moors, which are only in four countries in the world, of which uh, Colombia has 60% of this moors ecosystem, which produces water for the country. Moors represent 1% alone but they supply 70% of the fresh water, uh, 70% of the Colombian population with fresh water. Juan Manuel Santos has said that we, or that the country, must go towards sustainable development and that Colombia has been blessed by this great biodiversity which we must protect because what we have is borrowed. It does not belong to us and therefore we must do things properly and he's quite clear about this. And from the beginning of its government, he has given great, uh, clear signs, which are first to create the new environment and sustainable development ministry, because unfortunately we have joined up the environment ministry with the housing and also specialized environmental units in the development areas in order to work from the beginning that all projects have the environmental component in it in order to have very clear where they can and where they cannot. Another important thing is that in the, in the National Development Plan, by law, we already established where you could not do any kind of extraction or, or mining exploration, for example, in moors, in the, uh, in the wetlands, in the coral uh, reefs, and in the mangroves. And in terms of legislation, we have a green constitution with 16 articles. Before then, we had the, the National Resources Code. We have the policy of biodiversity and systemic resources. And in the National Development Plan, where we have included the uh, risk uh, management in order uh, because we have had a strong winter that has made us show that the risk part we not only must mitigate it but also adapt ourselves to it. In terms of the protected areas, Colombia has 56 protected national areas and this equals 12% of the national territory in la on land and 1% in the maritime area. However, if we include the national areas uh, plus the regional areas, then we have already protected 15% of the national territory on land and 8% on water. 
in Nagoya, in the uh, biologically uh, biological agreement of Nagoya, we said that by 2020 we want to uh, increase the protected areas to 17 percent in land and 10 percent on water. And for this purpose, we have decided to increase to uh, increase three million hectares and to keep the ecosystems that need still to be representative. And for this, we obviously need to have platforms in order to allow us, uh, financial platforms that allow to this protection. And these are obviously, um, uh, these are the platforms that we call Colombia. Uh, Colombia has been very active in this field. We have our uh, clim in the climate change integral policy, and we want to ensure the continuity with the political the policy of diversity. As also, all the management of ecosystems must have a fundamental role, and we are now working intensely in the national strategy for uh, Red Plus REDD in order to be ready so that when all these mechanisms from Red uh, Plus which we need in order to protect our natural forest, natural forest. We can actually be ready for this. There are a number of uh, pilot projects. We also have the strategy of low development, low carbon development policy in which we're working in all sectors. In an economy like ours that wants to be sustain sustainable and competitive, we must have very clear the role and value of its ecosystems that sustain this growth. And this is why, among other actions, we have decided to actively participate in rigorous exercises like the initiative on valuing ecosystems of the World Bank, which has already started, and there we form part of one of the pilot countries in this sense. We also have the strategy, which is known as uh, Colombia Natural Capital, or Capital Natural, which is a coalition of organizations that work in assessing the ecosystem services. Colombia was the first country to sign the Protocol of Nagoya on access to genetic resources and distribution of benefits. The adoption of this protocol, Nagoya Protocol, is uh, uh, proof of the intentions of the government for using genetic uh, resources and the respect of sovereign rights that the countries that have this genetic material must have. In Colombia, therefore, we're preparing an action plan for its implementation and we want to be prepared for when it actually becomes uh, uh, available. On the other hand, we'll also work on initiative for the policy for commercial development of biotechnology through sustainable use of biodiversity, which is already concluded. And as I said already, we want to maintain to, to maintain the environment and to use our diversity. We also have the idea of adapting to uh, climate change. We have been working, for example, with uh, great interest in biocommerce, uh, with our uh, competitiveness, uh, and also a president's office for biocompetitivity and biocommerce. In terms of the role of the private sector, as we said, we have a number uh, of challenges, and obviously. These investments must be done in the areas where we could go with a great social responsibility, but also an environmental responsibility. Here I would like to mention one of the topics. For example, when a company wants to do mining in Colombia, they must have, first of all, a concession, an authorization, a mining title. But this does not give them the right to do mining as such, or explorations, or exploitation for that matter. This has, must have a license, an environmental license. When the environmental license is given, the possibility, it is also asked for the companies to acquire a social responsibility and to carry out pro productive projects for the community. And this cannot just be any project. Quite often, they demand cattling, and this is going to help us to have a degradation of our forests. 
if that's the case. And therefore, we are implementing system eco pastures that allow us not just to have forest, but also better soil quality to uh, avoid desertification and, of course, a great amount of good practices. Colombia wants to belong to the OECD. And for that, as President Santos, this is not just a matter to join a club but to join a system with good practices so that the country can actually progress in a sustainable development. We need the international community to help us and support us come to invest in Colombia. They know the clear rules of the country, and if they're not going to invest, at least for them to come and see our country, which is indeed is a very pretty one. Thank you very much.